Hello, this is Dr. Hughes. So we are going to do a little screencast for you for our new app, uh, communication app that we'll be using for posts from all of our buildings, which many of you are probably using already, and also from the FAC for emergency notifications. Anybody in the district can use the code and uh, use this video to learn how to log on and, and join Blooms. Uh, for individual buildings, you have to use a code from that building. So if you have kids in the district, get the code from uh, your child's building. But for this, we were also going to go through and show you how to get emergency notifications and control your notifications in the future. So the first thing you want to do is type Blooms into your search engine. This wonderful page will pop up. And teachers, school districts, well, you want to click on parents. So when you click on parents, there's a nice little video showing you how it works. Our classroom teachers are going to be using Blooms or can use Blooms as well. Uh, many of our principals are already using it. And again, we're going to be using it for notifications. So let's click on join Blooms. And then you, this page will pop up. So I want to create an account. So I click on join a class or group. The code I'm going to click on is Q5NA5T. Now it may not self-populate, so you need to type in all capital letters, Q5NA5T, and then hit next. And it's going to ask you to put your name in. So I'm just going to use my name. Uh, oh, I can't use my name as I've used it before. So let's put Falcon Frontier is the name. Language is there for English. For the U, for the email, I'm going to use our Frontier Forum email, and then I'm going to type a password in here so we don't lose track of that. Can't tell you what that password is, but we'll uh, get it going, and we'll click next. And your child's first name. So if you don't have a child in the district, what you can do is just put your own first name and last name to match what you already had before. You click on I agree to the terms and you join the community. And it will send you an email to a notification to your email account, which I need to jump over to. And once I see that, I click on the verify email. You can't see this because I'm keeping my email separate. But once you click on verify, bang, there we go. You can invite your spouse, you can share calendars, coordinate and family activities. You can always you know, you can add a spouse in later. You just click done. And now you can start using Blooms. So there's all these little things you can do with it and the, uh, the videos and such will help you do so. You can figure out how to uh, organize carpools and PTA events. And there's a lot of things we're gonna be working on to help put everything in one place. What we heard from many of you over the last year or so, especially in a survey that we did the last time we did a budget vote in person, was that we have so many ways to communicate. This will help us get into one main way to communicate. We'll use multiple methods like email and blooms and social media, but this is a quick, easy way, especially for those emerging notifications about a push out. So when I click start, this brings me to a main page and look, we're ready to connect, okay? Now there's a couple things you can do from this page. Um, you can go, you can see that a couple postings here have already gone up from the FEC, the Frontier Educational Center. Um, and you would see other postings from other buildings if you put their code in for there as well. So what I can do is I can click on the little image. I can change my pro profile photo, uh, photo if I like. Um, I can click on my profile, adjust that. We can do some editing and add a child and all those other pieces. But one thing that we want to do is go to account settings. So once we get to account settings, what you should see is the account level should be premium listed right here. With it being premium, now we have all these other notifications that you can use, including using uh, getting robocalls. Um, if you don't want to get a robocall, you can actually turn those off. So one way to control your notifications is to go here. You can control posts, you can tr control reminders, you can turn comments off, you can do all those kind of things so you, you can see them or not. You can change the notifications here so you can either get email notifications or a push notification. What a push notification is, when you download the app to your phone, uh, whether it's an Apple or a, a Google, 
um, Samsung or whatever the case may be, whatever app you download, when there's a notification out, it will push to the app as soon as that note, that uh, post goes out and you get that little number um, on, on the app to show that you had a new notification. Well, I'm on a desktop here, so we're not gonna do that currently. But the one thing we wanna do is we wanna edit our phone information if you want a robocall. So let me say this again. If you want a robocall, you gotta go down here and put in your phone information. Again, you have total control over how the notifications you get. You definitely get the email because you put an email address in to start. You can get put, put, uh, push notifications with an app or you can put a phone number in here and add a password. Um, so that's your primary phone number, you add it and then you're good to go. What will show up in these notifications, you also have another button here that will show robocall. So any voice robocalls that we put out, you will also get those as well. So that's, that's basically how quick it is to easy and to set up. Um, each building again has their own and we hope to uh, grow the use of this app uh, for communications purposes in the future. Um, posts from our, you know, your child's teacher in the classroom. But this video really is to highlight the emergency notifications we want everybody to have access to. Anybody that is in the community, you do not have to have a child in the school district. You could be in the community, uh, grandparent, community member, uh, whoever, the, whatever the case may be, and you can download this app and get emergency notifications for, from us uh, when things do occur. So um, thank you for your time. And I look forward to hearing more from you. And uh, hopefully everybody enjoys the new school year. Thank you.